anti-corruption. What is corruption? Corruption is the dishonest behavior by those in positions of power. But is it only that? I want you to look at it from a different view. A view that not only focuses on the leaders of our country, but on our own selves too. While speaking on this topic, it is very important for me to mention that corruption is a worldly issue that pervades every country on some scale. Yet, whenever corruption is talked about, African countries come into the limelight. And first world countries have the idea that African countries are not capable of organizing themselves. This is completely hypocritical as we are capable of organizing ourselves and corruption does not only exist in African countries. Don't get me wrong though, I do know that many African countries are corrupt. Otherwise, I wouldn't be speaking on this topic. But isn't every country to some degree? Why do people think that African countries cannot govern themselves? That ideology has to perish and so does our individual contribution to corruption in society. Let me explain what I mean. I did a small survey here in Kenya and asked different people coming from different ethnicities, different jobs, economic backgrounds, ages, and so on about the views of corruption in Kenya. As expected, I got to hear and understand the many different views people had on corruption. Many said, Corruption is the source of a bad economy, and the government is behind it all. And if we aren't so corrupt, would actually be so far as a nation. I then asked them this. Do you think the, the corruption only exists in the government, or the common monarchy citizen is also part of the problem? Many hadn't thought about this and were astounded by the question I had asked. They looked at me as if I was mad. I asked a matatu driver, a matatu, a matatu is the public transport here in Kenya, to be able to survive without partaking in corruption. He immediately said no. Matatu drivers, when stopped by the policemen, would naturally give them kitu kidogo, which is a small bribe just to avoid this, the long process of going to the police station, so as not losing business or time. Did you know the matatu drivers already set aside the money that they earn just to bribe a policeman. They have become so accustomed to it that when they're stopped, they don't even need to be asked, but already hand over the money without hesitation. It is enriched in their daily lives and is almost like a routine for them. But I mean, they have no better alternative. Don't you see the problem? Although it is embedded in our society, I do believe there's always a possibility for change. Think about this. How about if every Matatu driver collectively decided, I'm not going to pay this bribe, and instead goes through the long process of going to the police station and getting a fine. They'd be able to teach the policemen that it's not so easy to get a bribe and realize this is not such an effective way of policing the community. Okay, now look at some sort of way you have contributed to corruption in your daily life. It could be cheating in tests, as many of you here have probably done before once in your life. Or in your day-to-day -day task just to use the easier route. We have become so accustomed to it from when we are young that when we're older, it is the norm. For example, have you ever gotten a foot in the doorway for a job or spread up a process just because you know someone? This, by very nature, is corruption. Again, don't get me wrong, I do know we should always be criticizing our government to enforce democracy and help our community grow, but I also firmly believe we need to look at our own selves. This is why I believe we should start from school. School policy makers should enforce the issue of corruption in our curriculum worldwide. Yes, it may be easier to cheat on that test and get that A and make your parents proud. And yes, 
it could be easier to pay that little bribe just to avoid the long legal process. And yes, it may give you a handy leg up just by knowing the right people. But why can't we er eradicate this stagnated way of thinking and have a sense of integrity? Why are humans so quick to judge others but not judge themselves? Just like those Western nations that are so keen to paint corruption as an issue that does not involve them. Why do we only see the speck out of our neighbor's eye, but fail to see the beam out of our own eye? Although we have become, a, although we should end corruption um, starting from ourselves, I also believe it is a team effort, as if one person is true to the anti-corruption stance. It is honest and great, but it won't really be infect effective in solving the problem at hand. But if we all are collectively true to ourselves, I believe we could end corruption as a whole here in Kenya and worldwide. I want you to think of small ways you have become so accustomed to corruption in your day-to-day -day tasks. If you want change so much, why can't you start with yourself and not only blame the people of our the leaders of our country? As Nelson Mandela so wisely said, we can be we can be the start to change. We can we can change the world and make it a better place, but it is in your hands to make the difference. Be the start to change. Thank you.